Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon. Now, we are continuing playing with our, or we're continuing to play our blind let's play of Zombie Vikings. This will be our eighth video for this, uh, the Zombie Vikings let's play series. Now, I, I got some unfortunate news to tell you guys. Um, I recorded a couple videos here, a lot, ended up recording four videos, two Overwatches and two Zombie Vikings. And unfortunately, I accidentally switched the setting to push the talk on my mic. So I'm going to end up losing those videos. I'm going to have to go back and record them, which is a major bummer. But, you know, it's something that happens and I fixed it and everything's working okay now. So, yeah, we end up going through and we're going to go back and I'm going to redo those levels for you. Uh, it was such a bummer, too, that I ended up losing this audio because I felt really strong. I had a really strong auto audio commentary for you guys and uh i'll end up fixing it here and we were continuing on we we're on the bon bon bog uh this is pretty funny and interesting level um i'm glad to get to play it again for you with you guys let's get that mouse out of here get out of here mouse oh god my toes are temperature sensitive this is pretty funny we got a Morgania? I can't remember. I'm so bad with names. Cold is a temperature. Yes, it is. Oh, no. He dropped it. <laughs> the old soap dropping routine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. That's so gross. Uh, she got, like, mushrooms growing on her bum. Wow. This has got to be really bad for Odin. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> So we're playing uh, Sea Guard here, and uh, we got these are our two new weapons that we end up getting after beating this. Um, so we're gonna end up, but yeah, this is the Kitty Palmier. The P Kitty Palmier is like one of the best things ever in this game. Uh, um, uh, well, that's so far for me. I love this weapon. Um, it is definitely one of my favorite weapons that I've came across so far, and you end up getting it in this game. And luckily, we could do side quest again because uh, I definitely want to show you it. Well, I mean, what can get better than a cat on a stick for a weapon? I mean, that is just amazing. And then, yeah, we got Mr. Pig here. I know, I don't know what his name is. Uh, I wish I did, uh, but you can sh hit him, and he shoots like not uh, shoots swords out of his um, this cannon on his back. And I, I'm assuming that guy that grabbed the the thing and then ran off. Um, <laughs> I think you can probably race that treasure chest back to the beginning of the game. And I'm, oh no, I'm sacrificing chickens. And we learned that you can fall down in these holes, and it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's game over for you. And oh no, we're having some difficulty um, getting this part back. <laughs> it's a chicken on top of a cat to, to stick. And there we go. Uh, we got some guys, yeah, we got the witches. Now it's funny because I kept on hearing a weird noise, and I thought it was the pig. But it turned out to be that it's these little guys here. They're making like little noises. Uh, sometimes they're like, it sounds like a little squealing or a little bit like uh, like a child crying. But it's it's just them making funky noises. <laughs> yeah. And then like I like this level. We got a bunch of like it's kind of theme. I like kind of around Hansel and Griddle. We got these gingerbread houses. Uh, in the background so we got kind of like the witches and the vikings still going on and now this is all oh, here they are yeah take that witch versus witch oh yeah <laughs> and uh oh what it was on top of the pig and uh we should be coming across like a guy a gingerbread uh dude up here pretty soon um And, uh, take that, yeah. <laughs> and this is a really good hack and slash uh, side-scrolling adventure game. Um, you know, I would have ate this up hardcore as a kid. I mean, I'm still enjoying it quite a bit now, but I really would have liked this as no 13-year-old uh, flip the bacon here, if you can imagine that. And then the other guy, we must have got him. Um, I must have defeated him. Didn't see him. Um, yeah, yeah, we're continuing on. Uh, and see, here's the uh, King Fluffy Butt is what I like to call him. And then we came into it, like when I was playing this before, we ended up running into a bug where we had to restart the level because it just his commentary wouldn't go away. It was kind of interesting. I got itch, itch my nose. All right, so, yep. 
actions ever since she decided she wants human <laughs> companionship. But I know she did she stem for a guy. Barrel of kitty pops here so gross. Help me find them. How am I supposed to make hairballs without kitty pops? I look stupid. <laughs> well, set that quest. Yeah. Good, good, very good. Yes, bring it to me. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to wait any longer. I'll be reduced to licking my own fur. Yeah. See, like here's this working class cat. We got, we got the, we got both of these here. We got the kitty cat, and he's holding it. I mean, it's really gross. It's kind of uh, funny him licking, wanting, wanting to spit up hairballs. I think if a cat, I wouldn't want to spit up hairballs. And I think this is where we run into, yeah, this guy. Yeah, take that. And then we'll hit this, and then the pig will end up shooting. Oh, jeez, we got our own barrel in the face. And, uh, we gotta get the pig to shoot in here. Up here. Yeah, and yeah, the pig, it's kind of funny that those, uh, I don't know if the big guys are considered witches, or if these are all like, I don't know if they're female witches, I'm assuming because they got the long nose, that they're just like mini witches, and uh, I guess they could be warlocks, which I think is the equivalent of a male witch is considered a warlock. Yeah, and look, and we found the kitty pops, it's a butt, just a barrel of kittens tied to sticks. Yep. Oh, but yeah. Yep. I wonder if it's still gonna do the thing that shows. Yep. Look at that kitty pop near. Swipe enemies with ag uh, agitate it or gate it. Swipe deals extra damage and knockback. Who knew that? Tying a cat to a stick makes it angry. Yeah. I get it, I think it was the word. I don't know. I'm so bad at reading, guys. Sometimes I can't begin to tell you. Uh, but yeah, we got the big gingerbread house with skulls, Viking skulls, and all that stuff going on inside of it. Now we got some chickens. I don't know what they're good for. Nothing. They've got the checkpoint. Yeah, look, it's riding on top of the pig. That is really crazy. Oh, and this is something too. We coming up here. We got another uh, merchant guy right here, and we found out this is like kind of like where you can switch, swap out your weapons if you want to. Um, and uh, we already own this weapon. I thought. I'm pretty sure we own that sword. Do we not only get the? Do we not get to keep these things? Do we have to rebuy them. Is that how it goes? Um, I could have swore, but yeah, um, so we got Shock and Awe and Replica of Thor's Hammers is what we get for beating this level. Um, so, let's see here. <laughs> Alright, and uh, yeah, we're just going to stick with the sword. Um, yeah. I could have swore I had this, but uh, attacks it restores your health. Sword usually does not... Sword usually do not have got gnaw marks on them. Yeah, it was minus seven health. Um... And I don't think there was any... Yeah, there was some new runes, too. So... I uh, had a rune for hedgy skull... Oh, let's, see, let's see. Skull circles heals. A uh, hedgy circles... So hedgy circle of skulls heals anybody who stands inside. And then we got one for each character here. Bring bring friend on flying attack. Kaka can carry a friend through the flying, through the flying attack. Increase the damage. Uh, sea guard here. Info. What it says. Inky Pinky can grab on to allies as well. And um, Rune Reckless, which is run faster. Oh, uh, here we go. This is Gunborg's uh, fist grabs players. Gunborg's fist can grab on to friends and protecting uh, protecting them from damage. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna stick with the, what we got here and uh, continue to beat this level real quick. And then we got like super giant brains here that one time. Oh, I missed this guy last time. So we got like a Viking wearing. A, it's kind of weird. We got these like theme kind of backgrounds that happen um, with kids hanging off of him, and uh, he had some headphones there, which shouldn't be around for a while. And uh, I think we're closely approaching the end here. Oh yeah, that's right. We 
We found out so much better the views. Oh, uh, wow, we got hit there. Yeah, get him. Get him, pig. We'll just end up destroying him. Yeah, we'll do this. Or her. Him, her, the it. I'll just refer to it as it because I'm not sure exactly what it is. And, uh, give me those brains. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wow. We got it really easy this time. Last time when I was playing this, I had a hard time getting through that um, part right there. And all right, folks, I think uh, I forgot to set my little special thing there, uh, but I think this is where we're going to call the video done for right now, and then we're going to continue playing this and... We'll end up wrapping up this video, but yeah, thank you for staying tuned with me with my blind let's play of the zombie Vikings um, This is part eight and we'll be continuing on with part nine, which we will continue on really now But as I always say at the end of all my videos flip that bacon and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye